Hello, hello, Tatum here. Thank you for joining me. Today we have a boot camp workout, so grab your weights and let's get to it. All right, here we go. It's time to get ready for boot camp. We have just a set of dumbbells today. I'm using 15, you might use 10 or 20 or somewhere in that range. We're gonna move through our joints to get ready. I'm super excited about this workout, mostly body weight with a little bit of weight added today. Let's get started. And we're gonna go with knee hugs. And I'm gonna move around in my space, but feel free to stay on the spot. Right here, hug it in, grab that shin, pull in towards the chest. There you go. Kudos to you for showing up today. So proud of you, yay! We're here, we're doing it. Super excited. Here you go, squeeze it out, hug it out. Give yourself a little hug. Here we go, we're gonna swing it across the front of the body. You can hold on to the wall, but I do want you to wrap that leg around. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good job. Other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job, heel to toe rocks. Back on your heels, up to your toes. There you go. Let's go five more. Five, four, three, two, and one, good job. Open up the hip, up and around. Again, hold on if you need to for balance, but if you can, try to practice balance here. Draw in at the navel, towards the spine. Nice and tight, think about the glutes as well. One more here, up and around. Whew, good job. Other side, one, two, three, four, and five, good, let's bring those arms up overhead and down, push back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job, let's swing it around. Side to side here, rotate that outside toe to follow the belly button. Good, that's it, nice and tight through the uh, core here, the midsection, draw in. Swing it out. Good job, all right. Let's step to the right here. Come back up, step down, bring it in. One more time, to the right, up, down, in. Let's go left, step out, up, down, push off, back in. There you go. And in, let's move back to the other side. Up, give it a couple pumps here, and then push off. Back out, and then back the other direction. There you go, good, warm it up, and over. Good job, all right, come down to a high plank for me here. We're just gonna push back into a down dog. Try to get those heels to the floor, push in. That's it, back out to high plank. Here we go, push back down in. High plank. One more here, down dog, really push in. Push into the shoulders, heels down. Let's bring that right leg up as high as we can and then give it a little wave, a little wag. Good, back down, left leg up. Open up the hips a little. You can kick it if you want here. Nice work and down, good, walk it out. Open up into a side plank, reach if you need to. One, uh, the bottom knee down to the floor. Good, rotate other side. Same thing, open up, hold, breathe. Keep those hips high. Great job. In that high plank here, I want you to draw the belly button towards the spine, push the toes in. Reach your right arm up out in front. Bring it out to the side. Then I want you to bring it back into this cobra. Set it down. I out front, T to the side. Cobra, back. One more time, I, T, Cobra. Don't dump your belly, draw it in, I, T, and Cobra, good job. Push back into child's pose, stretch it out there. 
Nice work, back out the plank, walk it up to the top. We're gonna get going here with eight seconds. We have a half get up. We're gonna do two sets of each exercise before moving on. Here we go, team. I'm gonna use some weight. Let's start with a no weight or weight, but the left arm's up, left knee's up. We're gonna use our forearm here to come up into a sit up. And then we're gonna lift the uh, glutes up and come back down. Nice work. Here we go, and again. If this is your first try or go around, I would not use any weight. Just work on this movement, getting it down. And then you could start with fives or tens, something a little bit lighter, eight, because we want to be able to stabilize this uh, weight over the shoulder. Halfway, other side, here we go. Right arm up, right knee up, lift, and come back down. Good job. Here you go. Don't be afraid to use that left forearm, okay? The goal with this is to keep adding weight and building up strength. So we're gonna have to use a little bit to, in order to get into that full sit up at the top. Three, two, and one. Nice work. 15 seconds rest, we're gonna stay here. We're gonna have some circuits later, but for right now we're gonna stay with our sets. We're gonna go back to that left side. Here we go. Left knee up, left arm up. I'm gonna add another element to this if you're there. Stay where we were, if not, here we go. Find that sit up, find that glute bridge, bring the leg around if you're there with an abduction or not, just around to the side and back down. Good. That's up to you. Just trying to give you some advanced options if you want. Not all of us will be there. Woo, back down, good. The abduction doesn't have to happen. So we might just come up here, find our side plank, and then come back down. Good job. Other side. Here we go. Right arm up, right knee up. Find your sit up. All right, with that hand down, that left hand down, lift here. If you want, come to the side in that side plank. Back down. Good job. Keep working here. Your pace, it depends on your weight and your stability today. Ooh, ooh, I'm going to try it on this side. Come on, Tatum. There we go. Not as graceful. All right, last one here. All the way up into that side plank, forget the abduction. For now, if that's not for you. <laughs> All right, weight down. We have two more sets here with a different exercise. We're gonna go plank ups, one of my favorites, all right? So let's find our forearms. I want you to come up to a high plank. All right, we're gonna step it laterally to the right for two, come back down. Right arm's gonna bring us up. Step it left, one. Two, left arm down, left arm up. Step it to the right. I'm crossing my hands in front, but you can bring them side by side if that's easier, okay? Right arm down, right arm up. Let's head left for two counts. Good, nice work. My hips might have been a little high. Try to get your hips down. I'm gonna try this time to focus on that. Keep your hips level to the floor as much as you can, all right? Here we go, three, two, and one, left arm down, left arm up, head right in that lateral plank walk. Keep those hips level to the floor. Here we go, we're down with our right, up with our right, head left. Make sure we're not dumping the belly, left down, left up, we're actually drawing in to the right, good. Right down, right up, step it left, one and two. Left down, left up. One step to the right this time. Right down, right up. One step to the left for rest. Woo, warming up, right? We're getting there. Okay, we're going into the plank. We're still on our arms and hands. We're gonna go plank and we're gonna jump it out towards the right hand, okay? Back in. Otherwise, you can step, step, and out, okay? Here we go. Let's step first and modify left side and back. Always start with that outside leg, right? Left, back to the center. Left, right, back to the center. Right, left, step, step, good. That's it, side to side. If you're there, we're gonna ski, okay? We're gonna jump. There you go. Out to the side and back. Out to the side and back. Rest, woo! All right, another round coming up. These are 30 seconds, 15 seconds rest. We have five exercises we're gonna work through like this before moving on to cardio. Here we go, three, two, and one. Let's start it with modified. One, two, with a step. 
outside leg first, inside leg, good. If you have the jump, and I'm gonna go up on my knuckles because of my wrist and go back and forth. Adds a little more stability there in my wrist to be on my knuckles when I'm jumping. Woo, there you go, in and out. Tighten up, stay long, stay rigid. There you go, Woo. we got it, three, two, and one, nice work. All right, you'll remember these shoes. Do you know which video this happened already one other time? <laughs> All right, we're up. We're going into a squat hold, team. Here we go, 30 seconds of work. We're holding, if this is tough for you, find your wall, use it. It'll take the core out a little bit. You can just focus on the bird and the legs, okay? We're holding, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna reach out in front here with my palm back and back down. Okay, here we go. Reach. Good, you can even turn out and back in. That feels good. A little rotation and time. Let's stand, Woo. Good job. Walk it out. 10 more seconds, we're going again with this hold. Try to get low. If it wasn't challenging, go deeper for me. As long as there's no knee pain. Three. Two and one, here we go. I'm gonna hold here and I'm gonna twist out, palm facing you, and back in. Here you go. Reach and down. Try to get that arm right up by your ear and right over. It's a little tough. If not, just stay here. Just offering some challenges and some modifications today to help everyone find their challenge, their own challenge. Woo! Three two, and one, rest, nice work. All right, we have a plank drag. You're gonna take your weight, all right? You're just gonna reach under and drag it across, set it down, and, and then come back and do the left side, okay? Here we go, three, two, and one. Keep those hips level, grab that weight, pull it through. There you go, it might be a little light. I like to use sandbags at the gym for this when we can, hips down. You can grab a heavier weight there if you have one, but first, we need stability in this, okay? We need to know how to square off the hips, squeeze tight, hold steady as we raise that hand off the ground here. Three, two, and one, rest. Nice work. We're going again. If that's too much for you today, maybe just practice tapping out, okay? Or tapping your, uh, Elbow, okay? Just working on getting a hand off the floor during your plank. Here we go. Grab that weight, drag it through. Now I kind of moved. I really like to try to stabilize and not rotate through these moves because rotating is easier to do, to kind of dip and give in there. But boy, stabilizing, squaring these hips off and trying to maintain that, that stable, Rigid posture here is hard to do when we're moving weight and we're in our plank on one hand here. All right, nice work. All right, that was two sets there. We're gonna go back to cardio here, okay? Or actually, we're gonna get started on our cardio. All right, we're gonna go to Bada's here, okay? So 20 seconds of work, jumping jacks. Here you go, right here, 20 seconds, so today, Three sets here. Three sets of 20, 10. We're gonna move through three different exercises. All right, here we go. Three, two, and one. I wanna march. I wanna march. There you go. We're gonna keep moving. We're just gonna elevate and draw it back. If you need to rest here, you don't need to march. Three, two, and one. Here we go, overhead. Get those arms overhead. I wanna clap, I wanna hear it. All right, and on those jumping jacks, look and see. I am, I have a foot that likes to turn in here. I'm gonna try to keep those toes out. Really focus on that. Bring those arms up, nice and high. Three, two, and one. Here we go, march it out. You can move around if you want. But I want you to keep moving those feet. There you go, three, two, and one. Here we go, back overhead. Jumping jacks, feels so good. Oh, did you start your watch? Uh-huh. All right, we got it, we got it. <laughs> All right. We're coming up here, here we go. Three, two, 
two and one. March it out. Woo! We're going high knees next, okay? So we're gonna switch it up. You can keep marching, but I want you to exaggerate. You can jog or you can bring it up for high knees. Pump those arms, lift those knees. Out in front, again, you can move in your space if that feels more natural or stay on the spot. Let's lift, lift, three, two, one. I'm gonna keep marching. If you need to rest, rest. We're building the intensity. It's okay to rest now if you need it. Three, two, and one. Here we go, lift those knees. There you go. Pump those arms. Whew, whew. Good job. Come on. Eight seconds. Five, three, two, one. Oh. All right. There you go. I know. Hang in there. We're revving it up here. Three, two, and one. Number three here. We're moving on to one more exercise. Whew, that's it, come on. Lift, lift. Move those arms. Five seconds. Three, two, one. I'm gonna rest. All right, coming up. Burpees, 20, 10 again. I know, if you don't, if you need a modification, walk it out, walk it in. Reach, here we go, 20 seconds of work. We're not going chest to ground. We're just going out and in. Good, try to get off the ground here with a jump if you're there. If not, just raise up on those toes. Keep moving. We're building, three, two, and one. Woo. Rest. Two more sets this way. If you want, march it out, march it out. Three, two, and one. Here we go. We're out and in, and up. Whew, good. Hand time. March it out. Woo! Last one. You got this. A little bit of rest before we move on. Here we go. Woo! 10 seconds to go, starting now. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right. Woo! Let's take it low. Let's cool down. 30 seconds, okay? Nice job. Grab a sip of water. Now look, if you need more rest, pause me for a minute to two minutes before we move on. All right, we're going in our first exercise just like that. We have plank rows. Find some dumbbells. If this is your first time, you may just go to a plank and pull up here without the weight. Look at my pop-up window now to find your modification. We're rowing. So that modification is gonna be at your knees. All right, but everybody else, whoever can do it, we're in our plank. We're up. If that bothers your wrist, put the weights down instead of keeping your hands on them and alternate that row. That's it, hips down. Draw back, again, try to square off. Try not to rotate too much. Pull back, that's it. Great job. Come on, I know it's tough. Hang in there, three, two, and one. Again, you can do kneeling with the weight. If you wanna practice your plank, you're gonna lift with an arm without the weight, okay? Good job, we have a, <laughs> a, re a reverse lunge with a squat. Here we go. I'm gonna hold my waist up high. Reverse lunge to squat. Reverse lunge. These are 45 second intervals with 15 seconds rest. Modify by bringing that interval down to 30 seconds. If needed, add in that rest. Good, reverse lunge, squat. With each reverse lunge, we're finding that squat. Woo. We're halfway. Good, that's it. 
and squat. 15 more seconds. We have a crazy exercise coming up. There's a lot going on in it, so feel free to take it down. Here, our basic would be just our squat, taking the lunge out. Good. My next one is going to be just the push-up. Just work your push-ups for 45 seconds. If you want, you can follow me or my pop-up window. I'm gonna do the modified version too, real quick, just so that you can see it, even with the pop-up window. We're gonna go down for a full push-up for two. You can do it from your knees. And I want you to stick your arms out overhead, roll, and we're gonna do a rolling crunch. Some of you are gonna stop here like my window. Some of us are gonna go all the way to the top. We're gonna come back down, find your stomach again. Two push-ups, one and two. Arms out overhead, roll toward that other direction. Give me a rolling crunch like the window, or come to the top and down. Good, roll back again, two push-ups. Two, good, hands over top. And find your rolling get up if you're there. Good, Whoop. back down. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, great job. Again, I'm providing some extra work without the weight today. Just body weight, take it down to a push up if that's what you need to be working today. Ground overhead, light weight to start, team. Here we go. We're at touchdown, neutral spine, or maybe we go from our knees. I'm only gonna have you go to the ground and you can keep that lower back neutral. Then you're gonna bring it up and overhead, keeping those weights close to the body. Kind of shrug and keep them close. Power them overhead, good. Thrust the hips forward, bring the weights up. All right, good, power up, shrug, and over they go, right over the shoulders. Start light, work on form and movement, and then go with this, here we go. Again, I'm touching, you can start here at your knees, more in a hang and up. All right, because I don't want you to round. You shouldn't be in this position. All right, three, two, and one. Nice work. V up crunch. I believe there's a window here as well, a pop-up window. You're just gonna do more of a tuck or a reverse crunch here. Okay, everyone else, here we go. We're gonna find that modified V up coming up high onto the tailbone, but only do it if it doesn't hurt the lower back. If you feel pressure and pain there, I want you to keep that back at the ground. Go right here, you're gonna feel the burn here too, okay? No need to come up on that tailbone and push through pain, okay? Don't do it. I'm warning you, I'm giving you the okay to stop what you're doing. There are other ways to work for strength. We don't have to put our body through pain. All right, 13 seconds, all the way up. Reach, hollow, tuck, hollow, tuck. Six, five, you gotta draw that belly button towards the spine, so if you start to feel that back, you might be dumping here, draw in tight. Rest, not a lot. I'm gonna keep us moving. Two more rounds of this. We're going back to the top with that plank row. I'm gonna add another element to this for some of us. Three, Two and one, here we go. One more element if you want it. We're gonna row. And we're working, team, we're working. You're gonna snap in and back out. Row, row. So it's a little snap jump, not too far. And out, if that bothers you, just work your rows. Work them from your knees if you need to. Find something that works for you. If it's already a challenge, it's where you need to be. We're halfway, keep working. And cut it down to 30 seconds. Good, that's it. And now, we need to draw in. You need to squeeze those glutes. It takes a lot of core stamina to do this. So please, it's okay to go to your knees to protect yourself in that back. Three, two, and one. Rest. Reverse lunge. I had two weights. Feel free to take one weight here or here, okay? And again, if the lunges are too much right now, just go with the squat. Just stay with your squat. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Reverse lunge to squat. Weights by your side if you want. Up high for an extra challenge. A little bit more core, okay? There you go. A squat after each reverse lunge. Woo! You got this. 45 seconds of work. We're halfway. 
Now team, I've added a lot of cardio into boot camp. It's part of it, it's conditioning, right? Overall conditioning. I really believe that strength and cardio, you need both. Now whether you like them in one setting, one workout is up to you and rest, but we do need to get them both in. All right, push-ups. Again, find your basic push-up. Find an incline, maybe at the wall. Work your push-ups. You don't have to worry about all this other fluff if we're just learning push-ups. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Two push-ups. I'm going all the way down and up. One, two. I'm reaching overhead, rolling it out, finding a rolling crunch or a rolling get-up. And we're back down. Good. Roll. Push-up. Push-up. Arms overhead, roll. Come up to the top, hoo -ah. Good, we're back down. Back to the center, push up and push up. Arms overhead, woo! Find yourself up at the top. If we're there, back down. Good, push up. That's it. You got it, two push ups. Get to your back. Find your rolling crunch or get up. Time, great job. Ground to overhead. On this one too, you can use one dumbbell. I'm gonna always give you options. I hope that doesn't get to you, but we're all at a different place. You can just come down here and lift it up. Come between the knees, keeping that neutral spine here. Bring it up overhead. We're working. Here we go, I'm going with double and up. And I'm even gonna try to come down and touch the weights all the way down, which is tough to do with a good neutral spine. Some of us, you'll have to widen your feet a little bit more to clear your hips to get down there. But if you look in the mirror and you see that your lumbar, your lower back is all rounded and tucked, don't do it. Don't do it, okay? Woo, here you go. That's it, power it up. I want you to squeeze the glutes, draw in and pop the hips. Shrug and pop, bring it up. Throw them through the ceiling, not for real but pretend. All right, a crunch here or a V up. Here we go, we're coming down. 45 seconds is a good amount of time on core. So maybe you start in this modified V up. You start to feel the back, so you go to your crunch. Here we go, three, two, and one. Good. That's it, really draw in, don't push out. Don't push out, draw in. Okay, we are pushing our air out. We are breathing out, but we're drawing in at the navel and kind of up through this, the rib cage, pull up and in. There you go, tighten up. 20 more seconds, if it gets to be too much. We're here, remember? We're here, pulling over, right here. Pulling that, pulling in at the same token, okay? Even though, the same time, even though we're not going up to this, we still want to draw in. Four, three, two, and one. Woo, good job. Bring it up, grab a sip of water. That was round two, this workout is flying by. We have one more round. Find your dumbbells. Here we go. Plank row, with or without snap jump, with or without the plank. We're gonna be in this quadruped position, okay? We're working, 45 seconds team, let's do it. Row, row, snap jump, if you please. Pick your poison, it's okay, all right? All I ask is that you're challenging yourself, all right? Where are you on your scale of one to 10 today? You should be at a 10, and that 10 will change day to day, week to week, month to month, it doesn't matter. It just depends on your sleep, where you are for the day, your stress, there's a lot going on in life, all right? So, don't be hard on yourself, just know that you gave it your 10. Three, two, and one. Great job, reverse lunge. Okay, reverse lunge squat. We're up, eight seconds to go. If you need more rest, shorten our 45 second interval. Interval. Could be 40, 35, 30. Here we go, reverse to squat. Reverse to squat, good job. Make sure, try, look in a mirror, put those knees are over your second, third toe that you feel the ground over the entire foot, that the heels aren't popping up off the floor, that you're not on your toes. 
or that you're not even leaning back. So people lean back into their heels and almost fall back when they sit. Woo! There you go. You got it. And squat. Good. Reverse lunge. Squat. Hua. Come on. Three, two, and one. I'm going for that left leg. I want to even it out. Up to you, team. 10 seconds to go here. Push up to rolling get up. Oh, yeah. I don't think I've ever done one of these in my workouts before. All right, we're down. Two push ups. One, two, roll. Find your rolling crunch here and stop, or find it all the way at the top. And I'm adding a little jump there. Roll over. Push up again, just do your push ups. We don't have to be fancy if we don't want to. Here we go. Up and down. Good. One, two, keep it moving. Hoo -ah. And on that rolling get up, I didn't mention it, but crossing at the ankles can help. All right, so let me show you that. We can roll and cross at the ankles to come up. If we're lacking a little bit of flexibility to get there, that will help. Okay, head to rest. Ground to overhead. We're almost there. Two more exercises. This is flying by. Is it for you? Comment, let me know. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Touch down or no. If not, stay here at the shins or the knees, okay? Bring it up overhead. Keep it close to the body. How do we keep it close? We shrug and bring it in, all right? Here we go. Hoo Good. And I'm going all the way down. There we go. That's it. Come on, explode. This is power. Squeeze that glute. Come out of it with power. Explode out of that hinge, okay? Your back. Hop and forward. Good. Squeeze the glutes. Go for it. Nice work. Good. Come on. Keep them coming fast. Three, two, and one. Rest. Nice work. The up crunch here. This is going so fast that I feel like we've missed something. <laughs> All right, remember, a crunch with the back at the floor or we're up at the tailbone into his V up. Good. All right, nice work. Feel free to use, if you're there, you can cheat a little. No, I'm not gonna call you a cheater. Nobody's a cheater. But we can do this a little bit to get there for you if we need to. All right, if it doesn't hurt your back and you can get to this point, but you just need that help, take it for now, okay? You'll soon realize that you don't need it anymore. It's all good. 18 seconds here. Keep working, modify when needed. Find your challenge. You do you. 10 seconds, come on, hoo-ah. Let's do it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, good work. All right, we're resting, 30 seconds here. We're going back to cardio. Back to that cardio we did before, same setup. Three 20 tens. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. Our heart rate is already about elevated, so feel free to take this 15 seconds with added rest if you need to, all right? Or just take the intensity down with the exercise we're doing. So for instance, on jumping jacks that we're getting ready to do, we're getting ready to do, you can go here. Here we go, let's work, jumpy jacks, up overhead. Let's work it, get high with those arms, exaggerate your movement if you need to. Get that heart rate, if you cannot speak in broken senses, okay, you cannot get your words out, I want you here, okay? We might even go here. Take the arms out and just tap. All right, good, rest. 10 seconds, you do you. You've got this, we're moving. Maybe you're like, I just wanna march. That's all I wanna do, Tatum. Okay, march, dance, three, Two and one, here we go. Number two. We're gonna go through each exercise again. Woo! There you go. Come on. Maybe you wanna make these harder. Low, high. All right. Jumpy jack squat here. Good, rest. I'm gonna march, I'm gonna keep moving. Keep the heart rate elevated. Some of us are there, some of us need to bring it down again. Rest, three, two, and one, I'm gonna go low. I'm gonna stay low in this. Challenge yourself a little bit. Good, stay high, you do you. I'm gonna keep giving you options. Woo. 
I don't know how you're feeling there. It's only a guess. So I wanna give you options. Woo, three, two, one. All right, nice work. I believe that was three. High knees, bring it into a march. Bring it into a run or a jog. Or lift those knees. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Lift, lift. That's it, high knees. If you're there, if not, march. But I want it exaggerated. I really want you to pull up with those knees. I really want you to move your arms. It's just as much work. Three, two, and one. Oh, there you go. Take it low. Five seconds. Two more like this. Three, two, and one. Here we go, team. Let's do it. Whew. That's it, come on. Lift those knees, lift those knees high as you can. Don't give up, 10 seconds. Come on. Three, two, one. All right, one more to go. And you know what's last. Burpees again. Burpees go along with boot camp well. Here we go. I had to. You can't call it a boot camp without burpees. <laughs> All right, lift, come on, lift. All right, I know, this is about the time that we wanna just kinda go through the motion. Come on, give it that 10. Here we go, three, two, one. All right, unfortunately we know what this means. Modify if you need to, down, out, out, in, in. Three, two, and one, here we go, come on. Woo, just a minute of work left to go, because we have 10 seconds of rest, 320s, you can do it. Just one minute, if you've made it this far, a minute is nothing. It may feel like a lot, but you can do it. Three, two, and one. Woo! 10 seconds, if you want to march. <laughs> I was enjoying that rest. Either way, up to you. Three, two, and one, here we go, come on. Whew. Five seconds, three, two, one. All right, I know, I know, but 20 seconds. You can do anything for 20. You got it, three, two, and one. Here we go, come on. We didn't come this far to just give up. We didn't show up to not give it our all, our 10. Come on, we're almost there. Three, two, one. All right, grab your sip of water. High five, high 10. Yes, we made it. We're another one together. Grab a sip of water. Oh, give me a second to catch my breath. All right, team. I hope you enjoyed that workout. I hope you enjoyed a little less equipment. I love equipment. <laughs> if there's anything you wanna see, I had some positive feedback on having a BOSU in the workout. If you want anything else, let me know. So there's this nice one in a rush just to grab a set of weight and get to it. Here we go, breathe in. And again, if I end in cardio and your heart rate is already through the roof and you have emptied out your tank, you can stop there. All right, you could have taken, instead of the 320s, two of them and rested on that third set. I should have told you that earlier. But I tell you these things now to coach you, to tell you, so that you can make your modifications and keep moving. You wanna finish, and then what's nice is you go all the way through, and the next time you do your three, you realize you can do your three. Good, on this next one, I want us to breathe in, and I want us to hold it at the top. Let that belly rise. Now let it go, and when you let it go, I want you to draw in at the belly button, pull in and up. Just practicing what that feels like. Everything crinkles in here and tightens up. All right, that's what we, that's what we need to maintain on those plank rows, planks, excuse me, any movement, our sit-ups as well. All right, let's bring that left arm across the chest. Give us a little extra stretch time today. 
Let's go ahead, bring the arm across, shoulders down out of your ears. Still finding our breath before we go to the ground. Good job. Oh, feels so good. All right, right arm across the chest, shoulders down. Big breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Trying to bring that heart rate down, relax the muscles. And one more breath. Good job. And have you interlace those fingers, reach out in front, round out that back, okay? Drop the chin. Really reach. Come up overhead. Maybe a small back bend. Back out in front. So let's bring that right hand on our left ear. Bring that right ear to the right shoulder. Palms facing out. Breathe. Now maybe look down as well. So away from your right, away from the right to the left at a diagonal down. Good. Nice work. Switch. Left ear to left shoulder. Left hand on right ear. Bring that right palm out to face me. Ooh, a little gentle. Don't pull. Just that weight of the hand is enough. And then look down and away. Good job. Let's bring those fingers back here. Pull down. A lot of that bouncing with the ski jumps and the plank, um, even our rows being on our wrists, the burpees. All right, we end up tightening up, maybe jamming up a little bit through the forearm. So pulling down can help. One thing I like to do here, my yoga instructor showed me, is to pull the pointer and middle finger back. You can go to the middle finger and ring finger. Feel the different tightnesses as you uh, I don't know, focus on the different fingers here. And then pinky and ring finger. Good, now flip those fingers up and pull back. All right, right hand, fingers down. Let's start with our pinky and ring finger. Ring finger and middle finger. Ooh, middle finger and pointer. Flip that hand up, pull back. There you go. Nice work. We're gonna come down to the ground. That heart rate should have reset a little bit. For some of us, it'll reset quicker, that's okay. And let's go ahead and turn your hands around to face your knees, your fingers. And we're just also gonna rock forward and back to stretching out. Good. A lot of bouncing, a lot of wrist and lower arm push-ups, all kinds of stuff. So let's go ahead and stretch out through the fingers. If you're there and it feels good, you can rock up onto those fingertips a little bit and then go back over, push forward. Nice work. Good job. From this quadruped position, let's go ahead and kick that right leg out to the side and you're just gonna sit back, drive your hips back, feel the stretch on the inner thigh here. A pay spot for a lot of us, I assume. Maybe not for me, absolutely. You can come down to your forearms if that feels good. If not, stay high. Feel that stretch, don't go too far. I want you to be able to breathe. I want you to feel it, but it shouldn't hurt. Good, we're gonna go into a frogger position now, so the toes are out, knees are wide. Sit back again here. Stretch, push back. Ooh, notice the difference. Can you get this foot turned out and at the floor? My right does it, my left not so much. Notice these little things. If you have questions about them, let me know. Good. Come on up. Let's bring that left leg out wide. And we're gonna sit back, push those hips back. Again, feeling the inner thigh here. Release. Breathe, don't hold your breath. You have to breathe and relax to let it go. Good, come back to the center again for that frog stretch. Toes out, knees out. If it feels better, stay high. Good. 
Good, we're gonna finish with cat cow, so come onto your hands and knees once again. Round up that back, tuck the tailbone, let the chin drop, push away from the floor. Lean back now, push back. Tops of the feet to the floor, dump your belly, pull the shoulders out of your ears and look up. Good, now push back, reach the hips back. Child's pose. And that's it today. All right, nice work team. Again, thank you so much. Please, please, please remember to subscribe and ring that bell if you wanna be reminded of our videos to help us out to keep those vid these videos coming to you, okay? So only do it if you like it. If you do, that will help. Comments help us as well. And it also helps me get to know you. So please leave us a comment. Let us know how it went. Um, if you had any questions about the things that went on in here or if maybe something hurt or felt tweaked or you know, whatever it might be, I might have a modification for you, okay? So reach out to me, I'm here. I like to hear from you. Uh, I know you know me, but I wanna get to know you. So again, thank you so much and I will see you next time. Have a fantastic day, bye-bye.